guys, I'm gonna have, I have this outfit. Yeah. It's very scary. Don't Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the most famous faces to walk the runway. Say, when you think about the word supermodel, the only one name comes to mind, to me, Naomi Campbell. Mm -hmm. Number 20, Gigi Hadid. Hey Vogue, I'm Gigi Hadid and this is what's in my bag. The careers of some supermodels start at a very young age. This was definitely the case with Gigi Hadid, who was already modeling the guest brand as a youngster. The lifestyle seemed to agree with Hadid too, since she eventually has gone on to become one of the world's most recognizable supermodels. The Los Angeles native was named 2016's Model of the Year by the British Fashion Council, and she's since racked up 45 appearances for Vogue and counting. Hadid has also parlayed her fortune and fame into activism, donating money to causes such as the war in Ukraine, UNICEF, and the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Okay. Okay, this is my, I guess, everyday GG look. I think this is where most of my looks start. Number 19, Cheryl Teagues. Are you good with fashion yourself? I design my own line of clothes mm -hmm. and have for eight years. The title of world's first supermodel is a contentious one, with a number of individuals potentially in the running for this honor. Cheryl Teagues almost always dominates this conversation, however, and with good reason. She also started modeling at a young age and was discovered while posing part-time during high school and college. Time would eventually see Cheryl Teagues become something of a mainstay in the supermodel world, thanks specifically to her appearances in the annual Sports Illustrated swimsuit issues. The rest, as they say, is history, with the name Cheryl Teagues becoming synonymous with modeling, aesthetic beauty, and their places within pop culture. Working for Sports Illustrated over the years has been very instrumental in my career and where I am today. Number 18, Carmen Cass. It's Carmen Cass, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I'm obligated to, they also want to see this picture for some reason. The list of famous collaborators associated with the Carmen Cass brand reads like a veritable who's who of fashionable influence. Gucci, Versace, Yves Saint Laurent, Calvin Klein, they and more have all come knocking at the door of Carmen Cass, anxious to work with the stunningly beautiful supermodel. Cass isn't just a pretty face, however, and she's successfully transitioned from the world of modeling into part-time politics. The Estonian-born Cass announced her candidacy for European Parliament in 2004, and although she didn't win, she more than proved her mettle as a model of influence. Tell them the big news. Do you know what I'm talking about? We do it. Running for European Parliament? I'm Tell working on it, yes. Number 17, Yasmin Gori. In 1988, she quit school and set off for Europe to become a model. After only two years, she'd achieved supermodel status, and she's been there ever since. The career of Canada's Yasmin Gori only lasted about a decade, but she certainly made one hell of an impact during this time. Gori entered the modeling world against the wishes of her parents, but it ultimately seemed to be the right choice, and her public profile skyrocketed almost immediately. Magazine cover shoots for Elle would soon follow, together with music video appearances alongside artists like Elton John and Chris Isaac. Chanel, Versace, and more would also hire Yasmin Gori for their respective brands, and her work was celebrated throughout the late 80s and into the 90s. I don't really like my pictures to begin with, so usually I end up looking at it and I'm disappointed. Why don't you like your pictures? I don't know. I think I like myself more in person. I don't. I, I can't relate to the person in the magazine. Number 16, Nikki Taylor. Three things that define the 90s. I want to say it was very eclectic. There was a lot of glamour going on, and there was a waif thing going on, grunge thing. The cult of celebrity can often be a difficult one to navigate, and this likely goes double for those working within the fashion industry. Nikki Taylor was the face of a myriad of famous brands, from CoverGirl to L'Oreal, and appeared on the cover of basically every magazine in the world. Yet her fans were shocked to learn of a terrible car accident that nearly ended Taylor's life back in 2001. Thankfully, the supermodel was able to make it out the other end of her ordeal. But the incident underlined the double-edged sword of living one's life in the public eye. If I had been sitting this way or this way or just um, in a different position, um, maybe the outcome would have been different. Number 15, Kate Moss. This is a rose quartz candle. It just brings peace and calm to my start of my day. 
The world of high fashion is in constant flux, with various trends and looks coming and going as fast as a summer breeze. Kate Moss was at the center of a controversial period in time that focused on smaller and smaller sized supermodels. This, of course, takes nothing away from the English beauty's natural grace and striking appearance. That said, Kate Moss was a lightning rod for controversy, whether it came to her thin features or her reputation for hard partying. Beyond all of the headlines, however, was a face and figure that helped define fashion chic in the 90s. I think I was 19. It was really special for me to be on Vogue. I was like, wow, I couldn't believe it. Number 14, Stephanie Seymour. May I ask you something? Yes. Why am I suddenly on a love seat with Jesse the body? <laughs> This is one of the most I think it's pretty self-explanatory, isn't it? Let's face it, the beautiful people tend to flock together. As a result, some of the most famous supermodels in the world can often be found dating other models, or individuals from the world of music and film. Stephanie Seymour didn't exactly need to date Guns N' Roses singer Axl Rose to become famous, but it certainly didn't hurt. Her memorable appearance in that band's iconic videos for Don't Cry and November Rain helped solidify Seymour as an it girl for the early 90s. This wasn't the extent of Seymour's work in the public eye either, since this generational beauty also did voice work for the 1994 video game Hell, a cyberpunk thriller, and appeared in the 2000 biopic Pollock. The article is about the direction of modern art, Jackson. It's not just about you. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to him. Well, I'm not talking to you. Shut up! Number 13, Elle McPherson. When Time coined the body, I thought to myself, hey, very smart. How can I capitalize on this? For some, fame doesn't last forever. So it's important to establish one's brand early and for the long term. Elle McPherson did just that while still reigning as a queen of Sports Illustrated swimsuit issues. The Australian-born beauty parlayed her famous face and figure into lines of feminine apparel and skincare products. McPherson also pivoted from the world of modeling into searching for the next big thing in her field, this time as a producer. She worked as both host and producer for Britain and Ireland's Next Top Model, but fans will never forget when Elle McPherson ruled the world, on the runway and on movie screens. It's about staying the course of what moves your heart. And I was never really, uh, I didn't love modeling, but I loved what modeling brought me. Number 12, Twiggy. Do you know how many photo shoots I've done? <laughs> The swinging 60s era in London was a transitional time full of bold fashion choices. Mini skirts, bright colors, and daring designs all represented the decade's cultural shift from the conservative 1950s, with Twiggy front and center of it all. She was a defining face of the decade, a natural beauty with expressive eyes and an androgynous figure that, quite frankly, looked great in everything. Yet just as we've underlined throughout this video, Twiggy wasn't content to just be a supermodel. She also proved she could act on stage and screen, earning awards and positive reviews for her work on Broadway and in movies like 1971's The Boyfriend. Oh, and she sang as well. Twiggy could honestly do it all. It's bizarre in a way to recreate something that I did over 50 years ago. Number 11, Linda Evangelista. My first Chanel show, and I couldn't believe that I got to walk in this show. Sometimes it's just all about loving what you do. Linda Evangelista loved being a model and was perhaps the best ever to walk the runway. This isn't our opinion either, with many in the industry labeling Evangelista as a generational talent. She's been described in the same breath as other icons of the medium such as Varushka, yet with a style and attitude that's nothing if not original. The quote, we don't wake up for less than $10,000 a day is attributed to her and is indicative of just how important and influential Linda Evangelista was and continues to be for the world of the supermodel. This is my first Vogue cover anywhere. I'm in couture. So exciting. This was my dream. Number 10, Alessandra Ambrosio. Hey guys, I'm Alessandra Ambrosio and I'm here in Madrid and this is my, the behind the scenes of my photo shoot for GQ. Born in Brazil and with Italian and Polish ancestry, Alessandra Ambrosio got her first taste of the profession when she enrolled in modeling classes at age 12. With that knowledge and her undeniable good looks, the teen went on to grace the cover of Brazilian Elle magazine and book the Millennium Guest campaign in the 1990s. While she walked for designers like Givenchy and Christian Dior, she is most known for being a Victoria's Secret angel, and particularly as the Pink Line's first spokesmodel. In 2012, 
Forbes named her one of the world's top 10 highest paid models. I think my secret is I'm just very authentic. If I feel happy, I'm going to laugh. If I feel sexy, I'm going to give you a sultry look. Oh, that's who I am. Number nine, Iman. When I came to the United States, everybody thought I was a royalty. They said, oh, you know, she's a princess and all that. Somalia-born Iman's tall, slim figure, long neck, and smooth brown skin first caught the eye of an American photographer while she was in university in the 1970s. It wasn't long before she nabbed the cover of Vogue magazine and strutted her stuff on the catwalk for celebrated designers like Yves Saint Laurent. While breaking barriers in the fashion industry, Iman found herself working with with many well-known designers and photographers, ranging from Gianni Versace and Calvin Klein to Helmut Newton and Annie Leibovitz. She also became involved with film, charity, and cosmetics, and was married to David Bowie from 1992 until his death in 2016. He went back for it and found it. Somebody bought it, he found it, bought it from them, and he proposed with that. It was sweet. And of course, I said yes. <laughs> Number eight, Christy Brinkley. The SI swimsuit model is has become an American icon. With her blonde hair, blue eyes, winning smile, and slender build, Christy Brinkley embodied the all-American female ideal. Discovered in the early 70s by an American photographer, it wasn't long before she was signed to a modeling agency and nabbed a covergirl partnership that would last over two decades. In the late 70s, early 80s, Brinkley would become the first model to cover Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue for three straight years. While this led to successful calendars and numerous other contracts, Brinkley's pop culture status was truly cemented with her role in the box office hit National Lampoon's Vacation and her high-profile marriage to Billy Joel in the 1980s. It's too bad you're married. I'm in the mood for some fun. Number 7. Heidi Klum So I go to the bathroom and I look like the elephant woman. The whole lip was like this, and I'm like, this is not possible. This German supermodel has become synonymous with The Runway after becoming host, judge, and executive producer of the TV ratings phenomenon known as Project Runway. However, long before Heidi Klum topped Forbes' list of highest-earning models in 2008, she was already a legit icon while younger women were still learning the business. She became a sex symbol through Sports Illustrated swimsuit issues and her time with Victoria's Secret, as well as a pop culture superstar through appearances in numerous films and TV shows. As the ultimate renaissance woman of the 2000s, Heidi Klum is the fine wine of supermodels. I'm very critical of myself when I look at the pictures afterwards, so it's really... You know, I mean, I'm always like, oh, I wish they would have took me a little bit from that side. Number six, Claudia Schiffer. Revlon outrageous lip color, all out color and shine for outrageous lips. While she stood out for her 5 foot 11 inch long frame, blonde locks, and baby blues, Claudia Schiffer really made a splash after slipping into a pair of guest jeans in the early 1990s. While she was featured in magazines like British Vogue and Playboy, this native of Germany became one of the industry's highest paid models after she bagged a 10 year contract with Revlon for about six million dollars annually. She also made history as the first model on several notable non-fashion publications such as Rolling Stone. She then continued her success by showing off her athletic build with several best-selling workout videos. This month alone, her face graces the cover of six fashion magazines. Ladies and gentlemen, Welcome to the program, Claudia Schiffer. Number five, Christy Turlington. Well, of course, she's once famous for walking the runway, but Christy is now running, and it's all for a cause that is dear to her heart. Turley's striking features are due in part to her El Salvadorian mother, which helped get her discovered by a photographer when she was just a teen going to high school in the U.S. The brunette beauty soon cemented her place as one of the Trinity, along with Naomi Campbell and Linda Evangelista, after becoming a model for designers like Calvin Klein and the face of Maybelline Cosmetics. When she wasn't parading the runways with her tall and lean figure, Christy Turlington kept busy building a reputation as one of the industry's most professional models. Logging miles around the world, from New York and Chicago to London and Haiti, Monday she'll take on Boston. Number 4. Adriana Lima. I yawn a lot, but it's like a nervous thing, and I don't stop. It's not that I'm tired, I just I yawn all the time. By 2010, this Brazilian bombshell had been a Victoria's Secret angel for a full decade. And Adriana Lima's continued demand in the 2010s is a testament to her popularity and talent. As the face of the Marc Jacobs decadence campaign and Vogue eyewear while in her early 30s, she has not only defied industry standards, she has also retained her status as one of the highest paid models in the world. Even if you're somewhat detached from the modeling scene, 
you'll probably recognize Adriana for her massively successful Super Bowl ads, most notably with Teleflora. If supermodels have a to-do list, then Lima has certainly been there, done that, and more. Okay, guys. See you at the Met. Number three, Giselle Bunchen. I wanted to wear something that reminded me of him and an experience with him, so I chose this dress. I'm happy still fits. Giselle's history of catwalk carnage is sprawling and vast. She's known as the boobs from Brazil and innovated the horsewalk, which marked a new era for the modeling industry. Giselle kicked off the 2000s by signing a record-breaking deal to become a Victoria's Secret angel, and by 2009, the Independent had called her, quote, the biggest star in fashion history. She's not only regarded as the ultimate supermodel by many of her peers, but also as one of the most powerful women in the entertainment industry. We salute you, Giselle Bunchen, and you are cordially invited to blow our minds forever. That's I can it. teach you that. I can teach you that. That's, uh, um, no, you, you know. can't teach me that. Yeah. <laughs> Number two, Naomi Campbell. Please welcome a fabulous, amazing model, an activist, an actor, just an all-round great, fabulous woman, Naomi Campbell. Ever since she was a teen, Naomi Campbell turned heads with her unique looks, which were the product of an African and Chinese Jamaican background. Oozing sultriness wherever she goes, she covered British Elle before turning 16 years of age. But Campbell really made history when she became the first black model to appear on the cover of French Vogue. She completed the supermodel trinity by becoming one of the most sought-after women in fashion, despite her outspoken personality and a reputation for being hard to work with. Campbell was also one of the big six in the supermodel world, along with Schiffer, Turlington, Evangelista, Moss, and one more we'll get to shortly. My first shoe, I was 15 and a half, my, for my uh, 16th birthday, and they had to get my mother to sign a piece of paper allowing wow. them to be responsible what for What was me. it for? Do you remember what it was for? For British L. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Paulina Poroskova, a Czech legend. Thank you, thank you. I have no idea what I did to be in this amazing group <laughs> of people. I am so honored, and I, I'm so honored, in fact, that I don't quite know what to do with myself. Carly Kloss, an advocate for women in STEM. So I started school on Monday, and by Friday, I was in New York meeting with Francisco Costa, the designer of Calvin Klein at the time, and I really had never been to New York Fashion Week. I'd only been to New York maybe once at this point. I'm 15 years old. Tyra Banks, a multi-threat media mogul. I'm gonna show you pairs of your peers. You tell me which you would choose in each situation okay. that I give you. Who would you rather take catwalk advice from, Naomi or Cindy? Better on the actual catwalk. <laughs> Candace Swanepoel, a Forbes favorite. Hi guys, I'm Candace, and I'm gonna show you how I do just an everyday glowy um, sun-kissed look. My hair is super straight, and I like to have a little bit of a curl. Karen Mulder, a high-profile critic of the industry. But there's no flap or anything that you can uh, that comes down <laughs> covering the butt for Maybe sort of like different like occasions this. or something, you know. <laughs> Well, I'm going to a funeral now. <laughs> Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Cindy Crawford. Like when the photographer says, make love to the camera. So the, the photographer never I've says, make never love to the camera? I've never anyone say that to me in any serious That sense. is heartbreaking. With her all-American good looks and an extremely fit and trim figure, it didn't take long for Cindy Crawford to take the modeling world by storm. Dropping out of university to pursue the profession full-time, she signed with an agency in the mid-80s and soon covered multiple magazines and found herself on many catwalks. Meanwhile, her brown hair and eyes, as well as her trademark mole, enhanced Crawford's worldwide fame and appeal. In 1995, Forbes declared her the business's highest paid model, which is no surprise considering she already had several years under her belt as the original host of MTV's House of Style and had spawned several global trends with her fashion choices. Hi, I'm Cindy Crawford. Welcome to House of Style, coming to you this time from Paris. What defines a supermodel? Sound off in the comments. I'm gonna give you guys your keys and then later I'm gonna meet you at Parsons School of Design. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.